tuned in! Now it is! <laughs> Maybe when he sent the message it wasn't. But now for sure it is. Ah, text log. CC shareholder pamphlet 202. Please do not distribute. What is planet cracking? Planet cracking is quite literally the dismantling of planets innocent moons on a macro scale by dedicated vessels known as planet crackers entire worlds are fractured with gravity tethers to reveal the rich seams of valuable minor minerals contained inside these fractured pieces of debris are mined processed and then shipped to their destination you may have read environmentalist reports claiming the destruction of a planet can destroy an entire solar system Due to the disruption in the gravitational forces that hold, hold each celestial object in orbit, some of the wilder reports claim this causes whole, the whole system to spin out of control, or planet, uh, da, 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 or planets to smash into each other. There, we would direct and concern investors to the article safe and sustainable CC's pledge to the health of our galaxy for a detailed breakdown of the truth about our planet cracking the short answer is planet cracking is perfectly safe and provides an essential service to the earth and the colonies yeah cuz you're getting paid to do it so why the f oh, god a polluter's article on why pollution isn't bad doesn't seem like a good source of information. Out of over three dozen planet cracks, only one operation has met with less than optimal results. Critics often cite the want disaster 11 years ago, wherein a planet cracker, cracker three supply ships, and a colony were lost due to the gravity tether failure. They rarely mention that at, since that time, CEC had strengthened relationships with the manufacturers, committed to regular crew training seminars, and implemented safety protocols to ensure disaster of the magnitude can never happen again. Uh, before each planet and it cracked, the candidate worlds are carefully chosen for their mineral content, net worth, earth, and planet and safety with which they can be dismantled. Planet cracks are also invaluable for harvesting asteroids and rogue planoid, planoid, planetoids, uh, which present deadly risk and expensive infrastructure and installations. Planet cracking, a detailed breakdown. Planet cracking is a lengthy process, typically spanning from three to five years. Generally, the first year is spent prospecting and settling up to the planet side colony to minimize losses these colonies are intentionally a light outlay in terms of infrastructure the next 18 months involve tectonic excavation a gravity tether maintenance and related planet side activities the planet cracker cracker arrives between in the 2.5 and 3 year mark depending on the progress of the excavation once the ship is in orbit, preparations for tectonic chunk extraction begins. This takes approximately one week. The removal of the excavated chunk from the planet and it into a stabilized geosynchronous orbit. Geosynchronous orbit usually takes about one day, 24 standard hours. During this process, billions of tons of debris break off from the underside of the chunk, creating an instant asteroid ring around the planet. While the floating debris is extremely dangerous, planet cracker ships have an excellent asteroid defense system, ADS, as to keep the ship and the crew safe from harm. For more information on our proprietary ADS technology, see accompanying literature. This process is repeated until the entire planet body has been broken up and processed. Smaller bodies such as asteroids are drawn into the mining bays and processed directly using the direct processing beams to reduce waste. As you can see, the profit margin of a planet cracking vastly outweighs 
a solely planet side operation, which may not be profitable for decades or more, and represent massive outlay in terms of personal infrastructure and equipment and insurance cost. About us, CEC Concordance Extraction Corporation. It's the largest solar mining extraction company in the Earth colonies, and the fifth largest interstellar company in the terms of the market cap capital. Since our founding, we have become a powerhouse of industrial might and a major cross-system employer, with generous budget and allocated to the election spending and CEC has always been able to maintain a strong market position and secure political support thanks to our dedicated lobbying bureau. AKA, we paid off the officials so they'd vote in our favor. <laughs> this is too real, because this would f this fucking... Aside from the space aspect of the mining shit, it's basically happening. <laughs> uh, CEC owns over 400 deep space vehicles, including five planet crackers with the famous USG Ishimura as our flagship. CEC Pioneer is a scanning ca as technique, Inc. which is now a staple aster. Uh, of sta eh, a staple of asteroid mining, ending in its first implement shock point drives for the commercial use. We are the largest supplier of precious metal metals to the commercial interests across the inhabited space. Okay, I may be confusing what supplier to inhabited space. Inhabited means no one's there, right? <laughs> My brain is malfunctioning. Ah, uh, we take a financial security and the well-being of our employer or your employees seriously. When you invest in CSEC, you are investing in the future we can believe, all believe in. Ah, uh, CSEC powering humanity into the future. Okay, uninhabited is where no one lives there. Uninhabited is where people live. Okay. Sorry. Less sorry. Less sorry. I've become... Y'all suck. Your religion sucks. Frankly, y'all are brainwashed. Oh. This just seems to have stuff in it. Little side room. For the VIPs, I'm sure. Well, this is a night infidels. I heard another text log. Oh, great. Uh, personal log, Dr. White, first officer. Goddamn, you needs are ruining the ship. So, so far, I know for sure. Captain Matthias. I uh, CSO O'Kine. Mm, 250 Mercer, LCDR Holt, LT and Carrillo, LTJAG Pitts, LTJG e Word. ENS Maynard, ENS Shade, Shand, yeah, Shand, ENS, I can't tell if that's an I or an L, Espeleta? That sounds right. NES, uh, Natividad. Uh, that many officers just happen to be marker heads. Can't be a coincidence. I know stack deck when I see one. Update. Check some files. A lot of those reassignments started after Director Eckhart got chatty with the captain. Since when does a C-suite give a damn about personnel? Oh, 
Get the Matthias? Oh. Ain't this a nice ass room? <sighs> to Captain Matthias from Unidentified Sender. Confidential fleet position confirmed to Captain Benjamin Matthias. Referencing our pre departure or discussion. I am blessed to report that the Vested have authorized a premium stasis capsule for you aboard the Church's Holy Fleet. Congratulations. Your generous donations over the years have already covered all post-mortem stasis and cryopreservation fees. While I cannot guarantee you which arc will safeguard your physical body, all fleet vessels are destined for centuries of deep space operation and equipped with state-of-the-art defense technology, ensuring that convergence will proceed without inference when the holy hour approaches. I must reiterate eight, that this breath is conditional upon the successful completion of your pilgrimage. Once the marker is safely delivered into the church's hands and all electronic records have been appropriately amended, and it, I will be pleased to finalize your resting place amongst the church's most blessed, including Altman himself. Praise be to the marker and its prophets. Phoebe Tremaine, Phoebe Tremaine Sanctified Messenger, Fleet Selection, Security, Church of Unitology. All correspondence to and from this individual is monitored. Disclosure of any information issued in this message to heretical parties is strictly forbidden and punishable by seizure of property and or excommunication. Ah! Well, not that you were making it there anyway. Hey, Captain. Um, table, you need to move. Also, shouldn't have touched it. Yeah, I should not have touched that. I mean, he converts, all right. I don't know if that's where he expected his body to be. Oh, it's... Oh, god damn it. Why must the toilet explode? With a bunch of little minis. It's gross. Ooh, quarter tea card. Can I give me access to the other rooms that I saw there already? Oh, great. Yeah, sure. For that game. Yeah, that's the out. What's this room now? Ooh. Ooh, money. Rude. Rude. I assume that gives me access to that other room now. Second officer chick. Note. Plasma. 
I don't remember you being on the list of insane people. Doesn't mean much. Eh, doesn't seem like you have a text log to say you were or weren't. So... That looks like gibbers to me. I cannot read that. Okay. Time to get the hell out of here. Go stomp on the body. Should be good. Who? I'm assuming these were all former captains of the Shimara. Which would make the most sense. Back to that too quiet. It's making me uncomfortable. Uh, we need to have stuff to sell. Yeah, it's force gun upgrade, so I want to keep that. Uh, uh force energy. Stasis. Okay, one thing I will do is. Let me... Uh, no, inventory. Equip. Oh damn, I already was fully loaded. Wait. No, it wasn't. Okay. And sadly didn't free up any extra room. But... Yeah, I have a bit more of that. It can stay. Down that way? What's in this room? I can't remember if this is one I've already cut through. It looks like... I've been through there, and doors were locked. Cause that... Deluxe shift bunks, deluxe shift bunks. I wonder if I can? That's missing. I don't know if there's been any melee. Hey, you know what? 
Life's all right. We can leave. I think I remember where those are now. I I remember. I remember now. We can just go. We'll just go down here. Empty. Or potentially something I've grabbed already. Humanity is finished. The marker. Amelia, she knew. She told me it would return the beast to its slumber. Okay. So if we return the marker to Aegis 7, it'll stop the outbreak? Exactly. But we need the shuttle to return it to the planet. You have okay. And I can let you through. So what do you say? It'll end this for good? distract Mercer, but not for long. Now get the marker to the shuttle bay quickly. Okay. For helping me fix my mistakes. Can I still destroy that node thing behind you? Long. Uh, she was only a voice at first, and now, but now she's my constant companion again. I've forgotten how my, much her presence soothes me, and I always... She sees to the heart of the problem. The marker must be returned. Perhaps there's been some kind of accident, some severance. Do the marker and the hive mind always... Always coordinate, or can the hive mind slip the marker's influence somehow? Regardless if the theory is correct, if the two are now at odds, if the marker can quell the hive mind, it would cut the puppeteer's strings at a stroke. Seems obvious in retrospect, these necromorphs have no intelligence. How could aren't they? Yet they are clear if rudimentary purpose behind their actions, especially if gather actually the gathering of corpses. They've clearly Really following some drive to kill living organisms and gather biomass. But where does this drive come from? How does it command them? Do all necromorphs converted by the marker share this bond? Pack instinct, or is it a hive mind demonstrated a genius telepathic communication, perhaps the first ever observed? How painful to admit that the marker's horrors still hold a fa fascination for me. Now I think I understand my predecessors, those who first studied the black act marker rather better. The road to hell begin ends with unprincipled curiosity. Foolish, foolish, foolish. I should have known sabotaging the engine was only a stopgap. Are we returning to Earth? Is the marker fall falling back into the church hands? Yes, Amelia. There's always an alternative solution, always. Okay, make sure I don't have anything else. Yep, just retrieve marker. 
sounds like a bad idea. Going down. real blurry and it's hurting my eyes game I haven't heard from Daniels in a while I don't walk through that door. <laughs> In fact, once I start moving, you're gonna be better. You're gonna wish I hadn't, really. That other hunter never showed up again. Or at least it stopped chasing me. Which doesn't bode well for me. Grab that. Give me some credits. Um, this is getting like very approaching final bossy. So. Want to give me a bench game? I hear things a moving, and you're giving me spaces. Ah. Uh. Get away! Walk away from it! Just trying to gather items. Don't worry about me, Marker. Just gathering some items. I'll get you right back to your planet in a jiffy.
is a hunter. Okay, so... Okay, test fire again? No! Test fire! I thought we killed Harris so. though! No! 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 Where's my gun? Where's my gun to shoot the thing? Shimura is screaming. Critical damage to internal systems. The marker just ripped right through the ship. Something pulled it down to the cargo bay. Kind, pilot the shuttle to the hangar. We're going after the marker. Of course. I'm going here quickly. Wait, Dr. Kind. That guy's lost it. He killed the captain. We can't trust him near the marker. He says returning it to the planet is the only way to end this. We've got to try. I'm heading to cargo. You ping Nicole's rig and tell her where to go. Leave it to me. Thanks. When I get the marker, we're all getting out of here. No, we're not. Stop lying to people, Isaac. No, we're not. Oh, good God. Um, we're safe. the hell did that thing pull me through? Uh, where is this? Oh, I think I know where I am. Or at least there's a safe right here. Oh, baby. Now safe.
time to go. Du, 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 du. Hang on. Yes. Mr. Clark, we're approaching the hangar bay. We'll meet you there with the marker. Now arriving at front deck. Will? Yes, Amelia Sue. We'll send the hive mind back into the darkness. So glad you gave that guy our only escape shuttle. Shit, Isaac. Those things you killed, their biomass has pulled down in the cargo bay. It's recombined itself into... Well, it's something huge, and the marker's embedded right in the middle. How the hell do we do this? I've got the Ishimura's cargo cranes. They can move half a bay of mining gear, no problem. If whatever's down there wants to wrestle for the marker, I'm in. Override the safeties, and yes, it might work. But hurry. We're losing critical systems fast. A nice shot. Um, think I'm all right. A lot of small med packs, but you know what? Useful. Uh, the the, the, the stasis is hey I'm gonna use one on the node give me an extra upgrade when I finally find a bench <laughs> um 57 300 300 400 five of course gun. Yeah, I think it's alright so far. And great. Where are you wishing as I go through this? Hell. Yeah, I can tell. It's a lovely place. Sure. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Gun, you know what? You can get a reload and a damage. Okay, do you can use this throw damage? Save this energy. I need to make a noise. Uh, 
pretty sure there's gonna be at least one more right below me. I think it's ones that are embedded. Oh shit. Burn, baby, burn! Thank you. Pick that up. Uh, yeah, we can actually use a couple of these. I'm not at full health, so yeah. Gauge cargo crane. Break activated. That's not engaging the crane part of this. There's crane. I think. Oh, 
want to see oh maybe this panel aha Maximum weight load. the candle go? Oh shit. Oh shit, you're not dead yet. Okay, I got it. Again with this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> 